So, how many of you guys are familiar with uh, Jay-Z and Kanye West? How many of you are familiar with uh, the Illuminati or the Secret Society? Alright, so imagine a man coming from Germany all the way to the U.S. <coughs> He's atheist, he is start trying to start a new world order, very desperate and very poor. And his goal is to make a new cult. Well that, my friends, is Adam Weishaupt. He moved here to the USA on May 1st, 1776, and according to Amir Rowe, he started the Illuminati on July 1st, 1776, three days before the, the US got its independence from Britain. The Illuminati, Illuminati at that time made a lot of decisions in the Washington DC. They made decisions of how it should be structured. The whole structure of Washington DC is in the shape of a cross. And the Washington Monument itself is 666 square meters. So James Adams of Vibe Magazine said that J.J. and Kanye West were probably not likely to be in the Illuminati. The reason he gave was he knows them pretty well and he feels that they wouldn't be a part of it. But then again, he said, who knows? You know, you never know. Jay-Z, according to John Bailey, was born on December 4th, 1969 in Brooklyn, New York. He was born and raised in the, one of the roughest neighborhoods in New York called Marcy Projects. He dropped out of high school pretty early and he, he said he didn't find school very interesting. As Jay-Z's Jay -Z rap career progressed, Lecrae found that Daisy began to rap about mysterious and devious things about Lucifer and the devil and the underworld, which was very, very unusual to everybody. And at that, at that time, people didn't consider him part of the Illuminati. He says he supports a Jesus peace necklace, but he has yet to ever rap about Jesus or God. People Daisy did not get along with would usually get dropped off his label. For example, a guy named Damon Dead who used to be a part of Rockefeller, and now he's in $100 million of debt. One day, Kanye and Damon were having a conversation with each other, which led to Damon getting into an argument with Jay-Z. Kanye supported Damon Dash because they were friends from a long time since they were young. They left, Kanye was in a car accident two days later. And Damon Dash ended up being dropped from the label five days later. And everybody thought that, you know, why is this all this happening? You know, nobody ever thought at that point that was it Jay-Z's fault or did Jay-Z cause it? But nobody ever thought of it at that point. Ever since then, Kanye has been an international phenom. He's won 16 Grammys and he's currently dating, according to GQ in 2009, the hottest woman in the world, which is Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Jay-Z recently had a daughter named Blue Ivy Carter on January 4th, 2012. When they named him Blue Ivy Carter, everybody was like, you know, it's, it's an alright name, but it's, it's kind of shady if you do somebody gives a name like Katie or like Mom's and Beyonce. So they did the numbers and the name spelled backwards spelled Lucifer's daughter. People thought, you know, it could be a hoax. But then, uh, in its usual context, it was Blue Ivy, which is the uh, name of the upcoming album of Jay-Z, the Blueprint 4. And so everybody went along with it, but it made people think more and more that it's probably, they are part of the Illuminati. And Beyonce, in a previous interview, did say that she has had alliances and has affiliated with people in the Illuminati. And Jay-Z usually, him and Kanye West usually put up the rock sign, which is the symbol of the Illuminati. And they always, they always tended to put lyrics in their songs, for example in Click, or in, uh, in other Jay-Z songs with Lucifer, him being a part of the Illuminati. People thought, is he trying to trick everybody or is he trying to convince them? But one thing leads to another. Kanye's accident happening, him suddenly becoming so famous, he was a beat maker and he suddenly became so famous that everybody in the world knows him. 
multi-platinum artist, and Jay-Z goes from being a crack dealer to being one of the biggest entrepreneurs in New York, owning 20% of the Brooklyn Nets, which is quite astounding because it's worth like $2.5 billion. So all in all, Jay-Z and Kanye have like, revolutionized the music industry. They've inspired a lot of people to, to become more and greater, and they've come a long way from being raised in the rough neighborhoods and being where they are. And uh, they, but them being a part of Illuminati is, or people believing, not believing, is thought to be a conspiracy theory, but I believe that uh, their life is shaping the way that it was built upon it. And, uh,